wonder why our voice gets shut down. It's kind of like one of those conversations I want to have on this Truth Friday. And earlier in the week, I did my show, The Rhonda Lou Moxie Show. And I started doing research on, you know, like, what does this look like? Because I know in my life, people would say I was pouting. And pouting is that feeling like that you have all the stuff you want to say or you're really upset, but you know that your words are not, like, worthy. Like, you just, I mean, you know that even though, logically, you know that your words are really important. But I went through my life talking low. A lot of people would say, what are you saying? I just remember that. <laughs> this stuff is so good to talk about. How are you doing this morning? Welcome in. Add anything you want. Add any comments or what you're feeling about this. My first question is, have you ever been shut down? And why, and when we're a kid, how come we learn this? Like, it, it has to be, hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you work with kids. I'd love, I'd love to have your insight on this. Like when we're kids and we, and like when we were kids and all of a sudden we just start pouting. We don't want to, you know, say what's on our mind or we're afraid to say it or there's a backlash or there's so many different angles. So that's my question because Elizabeth is here. So Elizabeth, add in whatever you want. I really appreciate your professional space in this in this conversation. Right now, I'm just going um, in to make sure I catch any comments. Sometimes on the phone app, I don't catch everything. I'll see it after. So if we start having this conversation, how could this, how could this change things for this world, you know, as adults? And we start looking at things differently. Like if we don't open up our voice, we don't get to empower everybody around us. We start closing down and, and we are guides. No matter what we do, we're creating the atmosphere around us. So if we have kids, um, any loved ones, but even groups, if we're leading groups and we get shut down, the people around us that we're going to attract are the people that are comfortable with us showing up that we are shut down. And what I notice is that there's more stuff that I'm realizing what shut down actually looks like. And it could be from the aspect of, you know, I, I wish I would have said something to so-and-so, but they wouldn't have wanted me to say that because if I would have done that, they would have been so angry. And I, and I just kind of, you know, like almost like you're protecting them because you want to backlash at them. And so I think there's a lot with getting in that right brain, you know, like that, that, coherence to get really connected with the heart and understand what we can do for ourselves by really empowering ourselves. Tell me what you think about this conversation. I know the one thing when I was doing my research and getting ready for my show at the beginning of the week when I was doing my Rhonda Lou Moxie show, which is sponsored by the Fresh Talks uh, Global Vision. Uh, one person said, why do I go mute or shut down when I'm sad and stressed? And if someone asks me what's wrong, I remain silent. And why am I not sharing my emotions with them? Kind of interesting, huh? Because like, I feel like I have an answer for that. But, you know, someone that's right in the middle of all that stuff. And the question really goes to, can we have this conversation about how would our world change if we started being in truth with that we're shut down? Like literally being in truth, like, okay, I'm shut down. That's stopping my day. I'm not getting up to where I want to be. Like, I feel bold right now, but why is, why is everything not stopping? I mean, why is everything stopping? Why is, why am I not moving forward? Why am I not doing my social media? Why am I not speaking up for myself with my loved ones? The, the list goes on. Another one that I saw, which was interesting. Why am I literally unable to speak? When I get upset, I want to speak, but nothing comes out and I only get frustrated. I've been there many times. I, but you know, like every morning, I literally, this is my, I'm looking out here. Out here is where the sun rises on this side of the Fresh Inspiration Ranch. And I'm, I watch the sunrise 
and I get out there in nature and I start really opening myself up. What are my goals for the day? Anybody else do that? Where you just literally clear the air and you start feeling things open up in your body, you know, really opening things up. Okay, another one that I saw. I've noticed that I tend to go mute, nonverbal when I get frustrated, angry, stressed. Is there a reason why I do that? So, good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Ike. So, I used to tell me if you did this, or still do it, but I would just get like so frustrated because somebody said something and I just didn't say anything back to them. Because it can go the other way, too. So I would literally want to sleep. I'd just be like, oh, where, where, where? And I would literally want to sleep. Now, the opposite side of this is that your protection could be that you're really not hearing. You're not receiving what people are saying. And so your vocals aren't shut down, but this would be around speaking a lot, speaking fast, not being able to receive somebody else's conversation with you. And non-stop and you just don't know where to stop but you know that you've lost people in your conversation that's another one so the question i asked is where would this go in our life and if you're an entrepreneur where would this change like how would your marketing change because you know from your brain for what you really trust that you can say coming out through your vocals doing video or coming out through your hand in writing what would change? Would that be something that would help you get massively open to starting to speak your truth? And, and why are we not? That's my question. Why are we not speaking our truth? Why are we saying that we're going to get out there and do stuff and make changes? I say hashtag speaker locking arms. Like, let's make some changes. Let's move forward. Okay, but if I'm closed down, how about you? What's going to show up? Or if I'm massively, blah, 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 so then my marketing or the way I talk is really loud. But what I'm marketing, I'm just saying stuff all over the place, place. I'm posting, 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 and I'm not able to really get to the heart, the root of what I really am thinking. Because it's so in the frontal cortex that this can be creative, but if you're not stepping into the pituitary creativity, being aware space, then where is this really going to connect you with your audience? What do you want your branding to be? What do you want to be known for? So what stops you? Another one that I saw, I love reading these, by the way, because I think I relate with all of them. Anybody else relate with, with what I'm saying here? Sometimes I feel like I'm unable to talk a lot and the ideas are flowing in my head, but I can't get them out. What can I do about that? It's like not talking, so you're just stuck in your head, and your head, you know a lot of stuff. It's just going, it's rolling. But when you start speaking, it's like clunky, but why don't we just be clunky? Why don't we just say it, and somebody can make fun of us because it is clunky, and you just go, well, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. I know it's clunky because I've never really spoke up. I'm speaking up now, and that is so powerful when you take a step back and you start really recognizing how this all shows up. Creativity is so innovative, helps us be ourselves. If we can't get to the flow and open up our vocals, We're not going to be able to really share deep in our hearts what we're doing. We're just going to be lost in thought. And if we can't get connected with people, what do we do about that? What do you want to do in your life? Tell me. I would love to hear. Another one is, why do I immediately stop talking or can't force myself to talk when I'm upset? That's the last one. So I brought up four, five, five of those approaches. 
of what it looks like when you're when you're shut down. Hmm. If we can envision changing this world, updating it. Yes, there's stuff out there, so let's don't talk about that. Let's talk about us that's in for the the change in this world. We're in. I'm in. What's your what's your global vision? What do you want to lock arms with us, the fresh talks global vision? What do you want to lock your arms with with us? What is your global vision? What is your change? If you could open up people's vocals, if you could open up your vocals fully, like strong, grounded, what would change? What would be the people that you could communicate with like you need to work with me because, and if it works for them, then you are flow and income for your business. That you're not selling anymore. That people just know why they need to be with you. They can feel it. If your vocals are shut down, when you start talking, you start doing quote unquote sales, connecting, people will feel so uncomfortable. This is how we stop that from happening is practicing opening up our vocals. I know when I'm working with people, they'll say, I'm going to do a 14 day series. I'm going to be in there every single day and do a live video. This could be Facebook, TikTok. Um, you can go in live and LinkedIn. I'm on a, an app for podcasts called Be Connected. It's a new app. It's incredible. Kind of house your whole, whole business. Put your podcast in there too. And what if you flow because you start getting very methodical about the inside, about what's going on for you. Like the inside, what you want massively changed. Then you're speaking up bigger. And everything you do, every stroke you do, you don't feel like you have 20 million things to do. Your list, your list isn't extremely long. You start focusing on the big strokes, like your painting, painting your canvas, those big strokes, those strokes that are going to help you connect with more people, help you express what you do. There's seven ways to communicate. And when you start communicating and really say what's on your mind and be truthful. The people that have been following you and they don't agree with it. Good. Let them bounce off because now you're being more authentic. And now people are really going to lean in because consistently where you are, everywhere you are, you're going to act the same. You're going to act the same because that you only know how to be you. And I'm learning that after all my years, Trying to hold everything in and pretend pretend like everything was, was right. And then some people would say, what was wrong with you yesterday? Are you okay? Or are you okay today? And I'd be like, oh, like first, like how dare you ask me that? Because you're prying and maybe I have some stuff I don't want to talk about. And another thing is, you're right, wasn't well, I masking it well? And I said, oh, you could tell I was upset? Yeah. How? And I didn't understand the energy I was showing, the, the looks on my face. And if nobody questioned it, I thought I was fooling them. <clears throat> oh, I'm just so fooling them. Does any of this make sense for you as we are clipping off here, getting to the end? Does any of this make sense? Are you ready to open up vocals? You can open up people's vocals around you, help them feel safe around you so they can appreciate you appreciate themselves this is so wild and crazy i tell you guys let's open people's vocals some person asking why why do i go mute why do i literally um not speak when i'm stressed out and upset um mm -hmm. i notice things about going non-verbal when i'm frustrated angry stressed Sometimes I feel unable to talk. This is all 55% of people in the U.S. I don't know what it is across the board, but if you extrapolate it, it's probably 55% all throughout the world, but that has throat problems. And throat problems like moving stuff, allowing things to flow, opening your lymphatic system around your neck. 
So if you take a deep breath in and see where this takes you today, it's Friday. It's time to speak your vocals. It's time to have an awesome weekend. Take a breath in. Exhale. You did it. Another Tooth Friday. Another Truth Friday. I appreciate you. Love you. Have a great day. Elizabeth, Ike, Stephanie, and others who are on. I appreciate you.